Okay, so last time I just the bang administrative penalties for such the purpose of auditing and remind ko lang no kaya natin kino compute yung mga administrative tax pay para at least ma-determine natin yung purpose ng liquid saka yung fraud na si so basically those are the practices and remedy Bureau of Code, sa part naman ng Bureau of Code. Also, sa part din natin, para at least, ma-reconcile din natin yung once magkaroon tayo ng violation, no? So, uh, those are the techniques, no? Those are the legit, no? Uh, li uh, lihiti mong para paraan para at least uh, makarecover ka dun. As well as the Bureau of Customs, no? So, ikukontinue lang natin. Morning, no? But anyway, uh, before I continue na, yung first part ng video lecture, i-upload ko sa Customs Prod, na <clears throat> Yung second part sa Customs Broker Act na sa Customs 8. Doon nyo po panoorin yung isang video. Kasi, may, uh, for the purpose of uh, uploading ng ano, saka sa monitoring ng attendance. Na, kailangan nila makita kasi may upload. Okay? So, doon nyo po panoorin yung isa, yung isa dito sa Customs so let's go. Section 1426, job security. So uh, again, yung job security, it's not for the security of a person or any properties. No? Ang nasabi dito is about the bond. No? Upon breach of security required to be filed under CM, the collector shall, shall subject to the approval of the commissioner may accept in satisfaction thereof all or some than the mention in the penalty clause of no? But in no less than the amount necessary to indemnify the government for the damage occasioned by such breach. No? Actually, yung uh, penalty about month is ano pa, matagal pa, matagal na, na pa, no? So, some of you siguro hindi pa buhay, but still effective no? until now, no? under section 14.3. Still, the same computation pa rin naman during the time of 99 pa na. I don't know kung kailan nila babaguhin. Kasi even our customs broker uh, is, no? In terms of our professional until now. Dalawang dekada na, no? Pa rin nababago. Uh, fees. Or brokerage fees natin, no? Pero yung implementation sa Bureau of Customs, nababago nila. Talagang merong mga ano, hidden agenda sometimes, no? Eh, kaya yung ibang broker uh, they will ka prone sila magawa ng illegal due to sobrang baba ng ating uh, brokerage services no, na assist brokerage fees imagine no kaya madalas pag nag-audit magic natin yung dahil gusto natin makasurvive ha then yet, tayo isa sa mga professionals sa Pilipinas na kung ako tatanong essential kasi isa tayo sa mga contributor ng isa tayo sa unang nagsasalang ng mga uh, revenues, lawful revenues particular sa import tax no? as well as the export tax like sa ibang professionals they being uh, tag dito pwede na sila maningil maningil based on their professions no tayo maniningil tayo na ating professions pero dito tulungan natin ng gobyerno no? di ba in terms of collecting lawful rate well the others ba di ko masabi kung na uh, help nila or na contribute sa gobyerno natin no in terms of their profession no okay so continue natin ano ba yung mga breach of security na pwedeng mangyari under 14 no Wait, una dyan, meron din tayong penalty about late re-exportation. No? So, sa late re-exportation, ang penalty dyan is 1,000 per month or 2% per month of the duties and taxes. Okay? Whichever is higher counted from the date of expiration of the bond. So, let's say, for example, meron kang re-exportation. Pag hindi mo na re-export, okay, within the prescribed period, ng 6 months no, after mag 
mag-expire, mag-expire na yung bond mo. Therefore, magkakaroon ka ng penalty na 1,000 per month or 2%. No? Pag nag-lapse naman yung 6 months, okay, expiration date, yung bond mo mag-increase ng additional 2% per month. No? Doon sa particular duties and taxes mo. So, kunin, kukunin... Ito, kuku, syempre, kukunin nyo pa rin yung duties and taxes. And from the duties and taxes, kukunin nyo lang yung 2% or 1,000. No? Well, yung 1,000 fixed yan. Yung 2%, kukunin nyo talaga sa duties and taxes. Then, i-compare nyo whichever is higher. So, kung mas mataas yung 2%, 2% yung magiging penalty per month. No? Depende kung ilang months kang uh, nag, nag-late re-exportation from the date of expiration ng bond. No? So, pag nag, uh, after 6 months, Nabawa, ang, ang, ang re-exportation prices mo is more than a year. No? So, hindi na siya basta 2%. Na? 4% na siya kasi nag na yung first 6 months. Then, nag exportation ka na ng mahigit isang taon. No? Therefore, magkakaroon ka na ng additional 2%. Okay? For example, this one. No? So, shipments of 3 units of equipment per exhibit. Total duties and taxes and other charges. is 1,750,000, no? So, let's say, for example, gawin natin 20, for example, no? So, no? So, therefore, magkakaroon tayo ng days, no? Para malaman natin. Kasi, ang ang band is at least 6 bands, no? So, let's say, for example, ang ang siste yung re-export ban mo di ba na na issue sa December 15 ah so, gawin natin 2019 na lang no for example okay so therefore yung ban mo kailangan tumagal ng at least months kasi yung prescribed period ng para mag makapag-re-export ka no so from December 15 Up to siguro, December, January, February, March. So, January, February, March, May, June. So, June. Hanggang June 50. Kasi, saan ba? Kasi yung ibang days, ibang months, may 31. No? So, hindi natin exact na consider na June. Yan, no? So, magka-calendar days kaya, no? Ang December hanggang 31. Mari February March. One, may 31 days ang December. So from December into 31, ten days, na. Sa calendar days na ngayon guys, para tis magawa natin. So January one, thirty one, thirty one days, na. One day. days. So, tapos February. Ay, no, depende pa kung ano, kung if no. So, let's say, for example, assume natin na uh, 20 lang na no? February 1 to sa calendar days lang guys, para makita natin. So, ito na yan. Uh, and days. Ito na kasi 6 months. So, 6 months equivalent to Right. Kailangan 200 days, no? I'm 180 days pala, sorry, 100 days. Kailangan 100 days. Yung, yung grace period ng re-exportation, kailangan makapag-re-export ka within 100 days. No? So, February, March, 1 to 31, 1 day. Tapos One One June Yan Kaya natin sa June kung hanggang kailan June one So bilangin muna natin from yung December Para malinis 
kasi natin kailangan yung gan, maganda talaga guys para ma-check nyo yung ilang day Rari January Rari March ang di kailangan makapag tayo 108 kailangan muna natin days man sorry man 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 So, so June 13 days na lang tayo no? So June 1 to Therefore mag-expire Ang iyong bond Export bond is June 13 no? Meron lang 13 So therefore Ang expiration ng Bond mo is on June 13 no? Based on the presentation of your Calendar days June 13 Expiration right? Duration of fourth month. So supposedly, dapat before June 13, mare export man na yung item na to. Na kung hindi mo siya mare export, therefore may kaka penalty. Which is mangyari dito. Kasi nga ang item na re export man na siya September 15, no? So therefore ilang months yung lagi date mo for re exportation. So, iko-continuous lang natin yung calendar day, no? So, from June 13, no? So, June 13 to 13. Pa tayong 17 days, no? Plus 17. Then, July. Taiwan Taiwan Tapos Pogo Taiwan Number Taiwan ang months lang na late no? kasi per month ang penalty natin so pagpaplasin lang natin 20 plus 31 plus 1 so accumulate of 3 months no? 3 months siya kasi 93 no? 93 days siyang na late no? na makapag Re-export. So, accumulation of 3 months. So, suppose ang late re-exportation almost uh, more than 3 months. No? Months and okay. So, therefore ang penalty niya is na natin. No? Na muna natin based on the investment natin. Diba? Okay. So, kung duties and taxes is 1,750,000 no? kukuni lang natin yung 2% no? To times 0 0.02 para sa surcharge. Okay? Then, ikokompare natin dun sa 1,000 per month kung maka. So, ako basically, may kita ko naman na mas mataas to. Uh, uh, for, ano, uh, for 1,000, no? Kasi kung 1 million ng ating duties and taxes, obvious, mataas, no? So, ang 2% yan, no? Imagine, ang 2% ng 1,750,000 is 35,000. So, therefore, ang penalty natin na uh, makuha per month ang penalty natin na makuha per month is 
35,000 uh, based sa 2%, no? 35,000 per month. Kaya ang total month niya na delay ng re-exportation, month, so therefore times 3. So, total of 105,000. Huh? So, yun yung magiging amount of surcharge. 5,000. O, tama, 105. So, this is the answer. 105,000. So, total surcharge mo. Okay? So, ganun po yung mangyari for late re-exportation. So, ang grace period kasi is at least months. No? Within 6 months, kapag hindi mo ma-re-export yung item, automatic, Pwede ka nang magkaroon ng violation. But, take note, no? Take note, sa exportation naman din kasi, pwedeng i-extend. So, in just case na hindi mo ma-extend, na matatapos na yung 6 months mo, tapos hindi mo ma-extend, no? May violation din yon pag hindi mo ma-extend. But, first, ang violation mo, late re-exportation. Okay? So, pwede. But, hindi mo rin ma-extend, may violation din. Parehas na halos complete. Okay? So, ganun po yan. Then, also, for late submission naman ng documents. Uh, fix naman na yan, no? Fix na yan. Same, same initiative, no? Kapag within 6 months, okay, kailangan mo ma-re-export or kailangan mo mag-submit ng mga documents, no? So, kung hindi ka makapag-submit within 6 months, may violation na. It's fixed na to, no? Ang pinaka- Tagad na nila dyan is 3,000, no? Kung hindi ka makapag-submit within na uh, 30 days after mag-expired nung Tokyo, yung re-export month mo, no? May violation ka ng 500, so, and so and so forth. Depende kung ilang months kang uh, nag-late submission ng documents after the date of expiration ng month mo. So, ganyan siya, fix siya. For late payment of duties and taxes, no? At example, bonded yung, ano mo, yung, ah, uh, tag dito. For bonded yung isang item, no? So, pag may bond, tas hindi na bayaran yung duty and taxes. May penalty rin po yun. So, ang, diba kung may, may penalty naman tayo sa unpaid duties and taxes, meron din namang penalty sa late payment, no? Kahit magbayad ka na, ang duties and taxes mo na under bond cover ng ano variation ng bond no? may penalty rin same computation 2% or 1,000 so ganun lang din siya pa pares ng computation sa late exportation ito naman late extension of re-export bond no? ganun din okay kapag nag-expired yung bond mo supposedly ano na uh, wala na siyang gamit no so, prior to expiration of bond, kailangan mo siyang ma-extend kung talagang kailangan-kailangan mo yung item. No? At least, para hindi ka magka-penalty for late. Kasi, pag hindi ka nakapag-file ng extension, so, may penalty ka. No? Late extension of re-export. Kapag tinuloy mo pa rin yung import, yung pag-aasikasa ng item. But then, definitely, most of the time naman, pag late extension, May penalty talaga yan na 2% or 1,000, whichever is higher pa rin. Okay, same, same scenario, if expiration, uh, late extension is at uh, tumagal siya ng more than 1 year, additional 2%. For example, this one. Late exportation owns, uh, GKL Corporation owns a construction firm as reduced from customs 50 units of machineries. Under export ban amounting to 4,500,000. If the said ban was extended 45 days after its expiration, how much is the surcharge to be paid? So, in this case, since more than one month na siya, no, kalahati yung buwan, definitely, kinoconsidered na yung 15 days as another month, para at least two months, yung magiging uh, late, no, late extension. Okay? So, kumpit natin yung 2%. Times 2%. So, 4 million. 
times 2 percent. So, 90,000, no? 90,000 yung penalty per month, no? Then, times lang natin sa 2 months kasi 2 months na siyang considered the 30, 45 days, no? Yung 15 days is considered as count as 1 month. Pero kung mga 10 days pa lang yan, less than 10 days, hindi pa siya kinakonsidered as count as a whole month, no? Sobra. So, like kanina, 93 days lang, di ba? So, in-accumulate lang natin siya sa 3 months instead na 4 months kasi 3 days lang naman yung sumoba. Pero dito kasi almost half of a month na. So, kinakonsider na ni Customs yan na another month. Uh, so, times 2, so magiging 180,000. So, ang total surcharge na babayaran for this particular is 180,000. Okay? No re-exportation made naman. Okay? Ito yung hindi nagawa within uh, 14 months, no? Wala siyang na-re-export. Okay? So, ganun din, no? Ito, since more than a year na siya, na hindi na-re-export, na okay? Same thing, hindi na-extend, no? Ang penalty na to is 4% per month. So, natin, no? 2,050,000 times 2 months. 4% yung penalty. Two thousand, no? Per month. Okay? Per month. Kasi it's more than ano to eh. So, times 14. 14 months. Yung, ano, a total. Hindi na kapag re-export. So, times. So, one, almost one million. It may. Total penalty. No? No re-exportation. Okay. Then, kung kasi kung 1,000 lang, 1,000, 1,000 lang, di ba? So, hindi talaga siya, ayan, ano ni Kostas, mababa. But, at least 2, ato kasi 4% na. At 2,000 natin per month yung isang penalty. Abon. Malaki pa rin to. 4%. Okay. So, no exportation. Next. Ito naman. Ah, ito, combine na to. Combine. So, gawin natin. Uh, ito, wala na itong re-export. Dati kasi, ang re-export pa at least 50%. Ngayon kasi under CMT, 100%. Ah. Pag-uwi natin. Pag natin. Ah, So, ito lang dito, late submission of re-export documents. No. So, ilan days? Automatically, may kita nyo naman, no? Very obvious. So, ang banda nag-expired is on Feb 2, 19. So, ang re-export, ang documents for re-export na submit July 2, 2020. So, definitely more than 6 months na yan. So, ang total... Uh, penalty mo dyan yung fix na 3,000. Kasi hanggang doon lang naman yung penalty for re-export document. Hindi na. So, yung answer is 3. For late re-exportation naman, na natin. Ang bond na expire is so, let's say for example, natin itong 3. Wala. Nag-expire is Feb 2, 19. So, bibilang ka from Feb 2 to May. No? So, may higit isang taon, no? Pero ilang months yung kanilang nagkaroon ng late. No? So, accumulate natin yan ng Feb. Bilang ka lang ng calendar days, no? So, from Feb 2 to May 2. So, accumulate natin yan ng may higit 1 year. So, Feb, March. So, mga 15 months. Ay, sorry. Tama, mga 15 months, no? 15 months ang accumulation natin na from Feb 2, 2019 up to May 2, 2020. No? Saka lang siya na re-export. Therefore, ang percentage ng kanyang 
since more than a year na kasi 15 months eh. So more than a year na ang penalty niya is 4% na no? from duties and taxes. So therefore 1 million 125,000 times 4% for the surcharge per month, no? Surcharge per month pa lang yan. So 45,000 ang penalty mo per month. Eh 15 months kang hindi nakapag-re-export, no? So times 50. So therefore, ang total surcharge natin 175,000, no? So ito yung magiging penalty mo for this uh, importation no? or combination. Okay? Ayan. So, that's it for position of fines and penalties no? ng surcharge for bond. No? So, ang next natin na lecture is position of fines and for feature with redemption. So, ano na ba yung mga fines a settlement of fines or redemption. Well, under CMTA kasi ginaganon ka ng ano eh, ang fines eh. Usually, ang fines nagdidepend na lang sa classification ng violation. Okay? But under CMTA, meron pa rin naman. Pero rare, kadalasan redemption eh. Okay, so yun yung next lecture natin. So, for the meantime, to muna, don't forget to evaluate our online link. Thank you.